How are you? You scared, baby? She was very quiet and timid. And she stayed in her cage that first full night. Didn't come out, didn't eat. I was pretty concerned about her. She's just woke up and now she's just kind of exploring the apartment here. Phelan, Phelan. I think she's so scared. When a Greyhound gets off the track, they don't know anything about this new world that they've been brought into. The patience that it takes is pretty important. She was very shy and really didn't know what to do. You're already doing really good on the stairs. Good job. Still shaky, huh? Salem. Oh, you do know your name. The Greyhound tracks in Florida are shutting down, so there was a lot of dogs that needed a home. Come on, Salem. Come here. Come here, girl. Come on. She had ran 159 races. That was her whole life. Finally hungry, huh? Definitely had some more challenges. It's like, for instance, I want to walk around, right? And she'll just follow me everywhere. She had pretty severe separation anxiety. And it's so different than how she was acting before. That was something that I slowly worked with her on, getting over the separation anxiety. What a cutie. She didn't start coming out of her shell until a couple of weeks. Good girl. Salem, come here. Good girl. You really want to get him out and about. So I took Salem out to eat, out to the store. <laughs> you did a good job in there, Salem. There was a lot of people. You just did the best job. I took her to the beach. Come on, Salem. First time ever getting in the water. I coaxed her into the water a little bit just to get her to feel it. Come on, baby. <laughs> good girl. But then when she was in, she just dove right in. She's swimming, swimming greyhound. She really liked that experience. You like the beach? You like the beach? Now she's okay, being out and about. <laughs> she gets zoomies at like 5 a.m. in the morning for some reason. <laughs> she was getting more open as we got to know each other. You ready to go? We're pinked out. She just took some time to get acquainted to life outside of the dog track. I knew that my lifestyle of traveling not necessarily a fit for them. But it was more important that she find a good home. What do you say, baby? Oh, she's just got the cutest little mouse face. Sayla really needed that support of a family environment. She was just a sweet, lovable dog. She would come and poop me with her nose. You're gonna be a hard one to give up. She added a lot of light into my life. Be cozy. It's cool to be able to see them grow from being scared to be able to open up and assume the life of a dog. Salem, you've come a long way in the last couple weeks. She's very relaxed now. Joel, who had got my first foster diver, reached out and said, they just so happened to be looking for a companion for diver. We met up at a dog park they got along really well. He adopted Salem. It was a good feeling to know that they both went to the good home. Alrighty, goodbye Salem. It was a great experience fostering Salem. It's one of the best decisions I've ever made personally.